from Manhattan, it's theCUBE. Covering AWS Summit New York City 2017. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Well, welcome back to Midtown. We're at the Javits Center here. For 2017 along with Stu Miniman. I'm John Walls and you're watching theCUBE as we continue with what's happening here. About 5,000 people on the show floor and uh, they said some 20,000 registrants, right, Stu, that, uh, Stu, that people came in and wanted to watch the yeah, keynotes it live. Or City, there could be 10,000 that walked through before the day's Right, done, hard but, to tell. Uh, yeah. And right now half of them are outside looking for a cab, I think. Uh, <laughs> that's the way it works here. Ryan Cronenberg is also here. He's the founder of a company called A Cloud Guru. Yes. Uh, I like Ryan already. I liked him as soon as we met him because he said, you know, like the beer. Cronenberg, yeah. so you Ryan resonated the with the two of us, Ryan. The BS, we appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> All right, so you're a cloud education company, and yes. um, you bill yourself, or at least you're in conversation, as you want to be the Netflix of cloud, of cloud education. education. That's yes. what you're doing. Um, tell us a little bit about the founding of the company. You began with your brother yes, just yeah. two years ago, and now you've grown to some 40 employees. Yeah, so I used to be a solutions architect, and uh, I was desperate to get a job at AWS, uh, so I became obsessed with getting trained in AWS. And um, at the time, a company I worked for had a, a training freeze, um, so we couldn't go out and do in-classroom training. If I had to do that myself, I'd have to pay for it myself. And I found that um, there wasn't a lot of good online training companies uh, you know, two years ago. I didn't get the job with AWS and turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. And so I decided to create my own uh, course on AWS. Uh, launched that, started going viral, and that was the birth of Cloud Guru, so yeah. yeah. Ryan, bring us in a little side of building the company. So you, you're not only teaching cloud, but you're built on cloud, and not just any yeah. cloud, but yeah, using sure. the Lambda serverless, and exactly. pretty early on that. So we practice what we preach. Yeah. Um, you know, we are real AWS engineers. We've built the entire platform serverlessly. We think we're the world's first serverless startup. We're certainly the world's first serverless learning management system. Um, so we don't pay for any servers whatsoever. There's no virtual or physical servers, uh, and we're basically purely AWS native. Um, we do use a bunch of third-party services like Auth0 and PayPal and things like that, but most of our most of our platforms are AWS. So. Yeah, in, in the keynote this morning, uh, Adrian Cockroft talked about Buzzle, which is a New York's uh, New York-based startup uh, that that uses a lot of serverless. But right, you you built uh, built the company before you even had funding, and now you've got yeah. a little bit of funding. It, can you give any insight to the, the investors look at that and say, "Wow, this is a great model"? Yeah, yeah. You know? um, so we raised a, a decent Series A. Um, one of the founders of Warby Parker is on our board now, um, so that's really exciting. A guy called uh, Andy, uh, and he um, you know is helping us scale. Um, one of the reasons we took funding was um, helping to scale. So we've our infrastructure scales automatically with AWS because it's built on Lambda and API Gateway, um, but we as a company are struggling to scale in like finding the right you know, employees and all of that sort of thing. So that's uh, you know, where we're getting some help. So. All right, what are you hearing from people taking your courses? What new things are they asking for? How are you expanding the scope of your offerings? So uh, everyone is obviously very interested in AWS, um, but they also want to learn other uh, cloud computing platforms now, especially Azure. Um, so we are expanding the scope of our Ladies content to do you know, Azure as well as Google. Um, the other problem people are having is AWS innovates so quickly. You know, there's like a thousand updates last year. Um, there's 19 new updates last week. Um, so they're having trouble keeping up. So we run a, just a weekly TV show called AWS This Week, mm. and we basically just tell people what's new this week. And the great thing about New York Summit is there's been like five or six announcements here, so I'm right. going to be busy on Friday filming. Is there any one particular area of training that, that you see more people drifting toward or following toward? I think serverless and big data are the hot topics. Um, big data, by that I mean AI, machine learning, that's just exploding right now. Mm -hmm. And just serverless architectures, because the future of cloud is serverless. Why, why, have, um, why pay for virtual or physical machines by the hour or by the minute? Um, and have system administrators, network administrators, database administrators, when all you actually want to focus on is your code and your end customers, and serverless allows you to do that, so. So, so what's your process then? I mean, in terms of you staying on top of it, right? Because now you have to. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you're, you're it, right? Yeah. You're, you're the, the point of expertise. So how do you, um, I guess, remain in that kind of uh, a relationship with AWS that you're yeah. at the cusp so I, I obviously read all the blogs. Our students, we've got 300,000 students right now and our discussion forums are very, very active. So if they have announced something that I've missed, the students tell me, like, I will know within a few hours. Um, so that's it really, it's just 
ever forever learning, but I love learning anyway, so it's fun to get paid to learn. So. Sure, yeah. you bet. Uh, Ryan, how many people have gone through the training so far? Do you know how many of them get certified after they do that? And yeah. you know, how many are kind of repeat customers? So we've got 300,000 have gone through the training so far. Um, we do track our uh, pass rates. Our pass rates vary from anywhere between normally 80 to 90 percent. Not everyone will pass on the first go because the exams are tough, and it's also quite stressful. You know, um, sitting these these exams can be quite stressful. Um, in terms of the number of students that actually go on to get certified, that's not something we track just yet, but we're looking to change that as well. So, sure. um, but yeah, we have a very good pass rate. So how does it work? You know, I, I, I want to learn, you know, whatever. Uh, yep. I, I want to dive in AI, whatever it is. Yep. I come to you, yep. you've got something for me there, right? You've got, a, I don't know how many, hours of work I have to do, but I mean, take us yeah. through how it really works. Yeah, so it's um, a video training, online video training. So say you want to learn DynamoDB. We have a 19 hour course on it and we go right into the very depths of DynamoDB. So you watch the videos, um, we'll show you what we're doing in the labs, we'll give you all the sample code if we're using code, and then you can go and do it yourself. Um, we very much believe in um, the only way to learn cloud is by getting your hands dirty, just to actually go and do it yourself. So mm -hmm. um, people will watch the labs, do the stuff themselves, and then um, you know complete the course. If it's a certification course, then at the end what they'll do is they'll go and book the exam, mm -hmm. and hopefully they'll pass the exam as well. So, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. so Ryan, you, you're in there looking at all this stuff, especially things like serverless. What are you looking for, 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 for kind of the maturation? Is there a, a, anything that you give feedback to Amazon, the community give you feedback? Uh, I have to imagine there's some good feedback loops there. Yeah, um, I'm lucky enough to be an AWS community hero, so we get uh, briefed by Amazon on things that are coming out, um, you know, under NDA, of course. Uh, we give a lot of feedback on, on that. Um, no, I think, I think serverless is the next big, big revolution. I, I, I hate hype and buzzwords and things like that, but the thing about serverless is that now you don't have to worry about service. You can just focus on your code and you don't need to worry about any of the normal administration behind it. And it's ridic it's like ridiculously cheap. You get a million uh, Lambda invocations a month for free. It's just part of free tier. We actually only just came off of Lambda free tier a couple of months ago and you know we've got 300,000 students. So it's, uh, it's very, very, very cheap. So it's amazing. It's, it's driving new revolution. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone if they were looking to start a business and de using serverless as a, as a platform? Yeah, uh, definitely check out AWS, of course. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we've built our entire business uh, off AWS. Um, yeah, design, try, if you can, architect everything in a serverless fashion because um, you know, you, like I keep saying, you don't have to worry about management of operating systems, virus patching, security, any of that. AWS take all, you know, take all the heavy lift. They take care of all the heavy lifting for you. So yeah. Yeah. So I, I know you're a big fan of, of Lambda, but have you looked at some of the other serverless options out there? Is there any concern around, you know, there's open source options out there? Yeah. How do we get compatibility and not be just locked into Amazon? Um, as your functions looks really good. Um, see this thing about vendor lock in. I mean, you've got the serverless framework as well. If you build your uh, uh, your applications on the serverless framework, you can move between platforms quite you know, easily. That, that, that is coming. So you could build it out on AWS and then move over to Azure if you wanted. Um, the founder of serverless framework is a good friend of mine, um, so I definitely recommend checking it out. And that would be my advice. If you are going to go serverless, use the serverless framework, so then you don't have to worry about vendor lock-in. But at the same time, Amazon, they reduce their prices all the time, you know, so it is a good vendor to be with, so, yeah. <laughs> I just think your story is great. I yeah. think that, Thank I mean, you. the best no you ever got in your life was yeah. from AWS, yeah. and absolutely. now you're giving them a big yes. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely, yeah, I love AWS. Um, the, you know, yeah, they're, they're such amazing people as well. They've all become my, you know, through my business, um, and people I used to work with, they've all been, become really good friends uh, of mine as well, so. Well, it's been a great journey. You've in the last done well years. for them, they've done well for you. It's yeah. a good relationship. Yeah, exactly. Ryan, thanks for being with us. Thank you. And continued success. Great. Good thanks, for you. Guys. You thanks bet. A lot. Ryan Cheers. Cronenberg, the founder of a cloud guru, along with his brother Sam, making a pretty good business out of things on the AWS platform right now. Back with more here from AWS Summit right after this. You're watching theCUBE.